Hi, my name is Dan Low. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to write a proof and do these the numbers that meet the conditions here. So the question is when the number is divided by x, the remainder is y. When the number is divided by a, the a is the remainder b. Okay. So the question is to list the, all the possible numbers that meet the two conditions uh, from 1 to 200. Okay. So this is probably um, element uh, probably middle school math. Okay. Um, but uh, to write a program, um, you don't think of how to solve it mathematically. Okay. You, you're going to think of how to solve this problem writing a program. Okay. So here it gives you the clues. This the all possible number from one to two hundred. Okay, so in programming, so a loop will walk you over all the numbers from one to two hundred. So what you uh, what you uh, have to do is you check each of the numbers uh, whether they meet the two conditions, and you're done. Okay, so here the input. To the program uh, as uh, four variables x, o, y, a, v, okay, and they both you know, within zero and uh, ten to the nine, okay, and the output uh, is these all numbers, okay, in between that meet the two conditions, okay. So here is the example five two seven four, okay, and then with this the the numbers is three three two sixty seven, you can verify that, okay. Thirty five divided by uh, thirty two divided by five, remainder is two. 32 divided by 7, remember it's 4. Okay, so 32. And it's 32 also with, within the 1 and 200. Okay, so to solve this problem, uh, first we need uh, to understand the modular operation. So, modular operation, I'll give you a test. Uh, if you say you want to uh, divide 5, divide by 2, okay. Uh, now five modulo two. Okay, this will take a remainder when you do the integer division. Five divided by two, so which is three. Okay, now, oh, which one? Sorry, five divided by two is one. Okay, and so five divided by three. Okay, which is two. Okay, now let's see. It takes the remainder basically, and you also need to understand the for loop. Okay, and the range. So for example, if I say for i in the range, uh. 1 to 201, oh, okay. Then print i, okay. This gonna print the, you know, the, all the numbers, all the numbers, you know, starting from 1 all the way to 200. Not including the last one, 201 is not included. So you can uh, take a look at what we have. It's gonna be from 1 to 200, okay, right there, okay. So that's all you need. And also you need a basic if condition check. So I'm going to write a program starting from here. So our program starts from uh, define a function, say this to all numbers. And this function will take uh, x, y, a, b, OK? So either x, y, a, b, or a, b, x, y, it doesn't matter, OK? Uh, so we know the number divided by x, the remainder is y, OK? So we need a, a for loop in the range. Uh, from 1 to uh, 201, okay. Now inside the loop, okay, this loop will go over all the numbers, you know, all the candidate numbers. Let me put it this way. So what you have to do, you need to check if i uh, modular x is that equal to y, okay, that's the first condition, and the second condition now i modular a I have to be equal to b. Okay, if that's the case, then you print the i. Otherwise, you don't print. Okay, so that should be the program. Okay, so let's see. You give the input. Uh, let's see input. Okay, so the input let's say five two seven four. Okay, so the you put the, you call the function this this this. Numbers, okay, five, two, seven, four, okay, and run it. 
So I'll give you 3267, 102, 137, and 172. That is, you know, this last example right there. Okay, 5274 is this. Okay. And you can play around with this. And you, know, so you can play around. Um, if divided by 9, you go to uh, 3 divided by 7. Remainder is 1. Okay, I run it. And you get this. You can double show 57 divided by 7. Uh, yeah, it's remainder 1. Yeah, the, the quotient is 8. We have 75 and 9. Uh, 7, 7, 6, 6 times 9 is 44 to minus 3. So that's correct. Okay, so that's uh, the video. Hope you enjoy it, like it, and please subscribe it and share or give comments. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.